We've waited long for this day to come For all the midnight lights burnt into the morning sun I can't wait to see your sweet mysteries The moon, the stars, the sun, the universe, the galaxies Fly home on your silver wing with your new song for the world to sing Light this candle, make it right Yes, you can change the world Good morning, Discovery, and your wake-up music this morning was brought to you live by Big Head Todd and the Monsters. Well, good morning, and uh, thanks to them, and uh, they were the uh, number one vote-getter in the uh, Shuttle Program Song Contest, so congratulations to them, and uh, thanks for that uh, special recording. It's a uh, good to be up here looking forward to the day. Well, on behalf of Big Head Todd and the Monsters and uh, songwriters and artists everywhere, we just want to thank you so much for your courage and your bravery and your effort in uh, just giving all of us a better shot at uh, knowing more. And uh, it's very inspirational to the arts as well. Well, thank you very much. And uh, and we're all, we all wish you could see what we can see when we look at it, the earth, and hopefully everybody will be able to do that one of these days. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Make sure you clean your glasses before tomorrow. They look good to me, Scorch. I don't know what you're talking about. That's right. So not only is the team here in Houston getting ready for tomorrow's landing, but also the um, pilot and the commander of STS-133 running through some uh, training on how to fly uh, Discovery, just making sure that their skills are sharp and ready for tomorrow's arrival at the Kennedy Space Center. So you see we're set up. We got the, uh, we got the computer uh, here set up with the pilot program. We got this fixed strapped on the other one, all the connections made, and uh, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll practice. I think I'll do about one more, and then I'll switch over to Ben and let him do some. Awesome. Thanks for getting good image. Let's see. Uh, cross threshold at 27.3. Um, Touchdown, H dot of 2.1, speed 195.3. You're making that up. That's why I'm not. Oh, I'm going to show you the screen, dude. Read it and weep, dude. Hey, if that's the best you can do, that's all we'll expect you, Pino. No, that's mighty sweet, man. We'll hope to see you do that tomorrow. I can't come back to that one. Discovery has contributed greatly to the space shuttle program. She's flown a good portion of the major, most significant flights in the space shuttle program. She, she uh, deployed the Hubble Space Telescope, 13 trips to the space station, contributing the assembly uh, of the space station in a very big way. She's been to the Mira space station. She's done science missions. Um, she's done all of the return to flight test missions, both after Challenger and after Columbia, bringing us back into space after those tragedies. On this final day on orbit, when I think about Discover, I think about all that. I think about all the people that went before them, before us uh, on this vehicle, but mostly what I think about are the thousands and thousands of people across the space shuttle program these past 30 years who designed this vehicle, built this vehicle, have taken care of this vehicle in operating this vehicle, not just from the cockpit, but also those uh, who operated this vehicle from the ground. And that is her greatest legacy to me. So uh, after we bring Discovery home tomorrow, she's going to go through some decommissioning, and then uh, she will go to a place of honor, some place where all the public can go see her and hopefully see her as we saw her, as all those workers have seen her, as the engineers and designers and the operators from the ground have seen her as well. Discovery is a great ship of exploration, one that our nation should be very proud of. And I am hopeful that Discovery and the other orbiters in the space shuttle program will continue to inspire the entire nation for many, many years to come.